Good morning, everybody. I have my cereal and a banana for breakfast. I have today off, legitimately. Don's at work. It's in the 70s and it's cloudy, but it's better than the 90s yesterday. Even though I still don't complain about the heat, it's better than the cold, better than 20 below. But today it's, it's comfortable. Tiger got out last night, again, but this morning she was back, so she's locked back in the bedroom again now for the day because it's still warm enough to have the windows open. I don't know what my plans are for today. I kind of want to ride my bike. I didn't buy that thing for just to sit there. But we'll see how that works out if it rains or not. Rain is in the forecast, so we'll find out. So I'm heading to the store, to Tom's. Don wants baking soda for beer battered fish. So I'm going to get that for him. We drive through the yard to get out of here if you can tell. We just drive right around the house. So I wanted to take this time to tell all our viewers, our subscribers, the active ones anyway, how thankful we are for you all and how much we love you. It just amazes me how I've made a few friends and uh, we have people who actually want to watch our vlogs. I'm really, really thankful for that. I think you guys are awesome. And I'm really starting to understand what the definition of the YouTube community means. Because, uh, we all help each other out and we give each other support and everybody's a great friend and I think it's just really awesome. I never really had friends growing up. Not that many real life friends either. And it turns out my best friends are ones from the internet. Like there's a few girls I've known since 2002 who have been really good friends to me and I know I'll never be able to meet them unfortunately but they've been the best friends I've ever had and it seems like those kinds of friendships could develop on YouTube too because I've met some really great people so far the reason I wanted to get into vlogging in the first place is because I've spent the last four years or so watching other people's vlogs and it seemed really interesting to me and it seemed like a really fun thing to do so this past January I asked Don if he wanted to do it because I have we were had been watching vlogs every day since I met him and since we got together well I mean I can't say since I met him because we went to school together but since we reunited and he really liked him and one day I was like well what would you think about vlogging and he said, yeah, we could do it, we could try it. So we started, and it turns out to be one of the best decisions I think I've made, because I really love doing it. I love filming, I love editing. It's a really good feeling when I know people watch them and enjoy them. I'm having a, a really good time with all of this. And like I said, I really appreciate everybody who watches it makes all of this worth it you know I tried vlogging I made five vlogs way back when I was with my ex-boyfriend in like 2011 something like that 2010 2011 and that didn't work out because he had a bad attitude and he never uh, showed any spirit in the vlogs or anything he would just sit there with a stupid look on his face and if he did say anything it wasn't much so then I stopped for a long time and I just put up my concert videos on my channel which that's a, another hobby I have is uh, I go to concerts and I film the whole show and I put it up on YouTube so that people who couldn't go to the show could see what they missed you know and also for uh, you know just fans of the bands one of my highest viewed videos is We the Kings from Grand Rapids so that's pretty cool but then I decided to do it with Don the vlogging he really he really makes the vlogs his sense of humor is great and he's all into it and he likes to to help me and if I'm at work and he's not he makes sure he grabs this camera and gets me footage and he's really thoughtful and he makes sure this all works out for us 
I really enjoy vlogging and I think he does too. But anyway, now I'm out on the main highway where there's more traffic. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. And I'll be back. So I wanted to say one more thing before I head home. I just got everything I needed from Tom's. I got this awesome iced coffee stuff. Every time I buy it, people are like, oh, i never heard of that before. Well, it's been out for a little while. This is like the third or fourth one I've had in the history of time. A, a few days, like two or three days after Don and I started vlogging, I found out that the people I was working with at the Alpina McDonald's were going behind my back and saying my vlogs were pointless. You know, and just uh, talking shit and putting, putting me down and... I don't understand that, and I have definitely discovered since then that they are far from pointless. But what do you think, guys? Maybe I should rename this channel Pointless Vlogger. That would make a whole lot of sense, wouldn't it? Considering that's what some people that I used to know think it is. Oh well. Tiger, you lazy kitty. So we're pretty sure Tiger's pregnant, unfortunately. So, that'll be something that we'll have to take, you know, deal with. I said something about wanting to keep one of the kittens, and Don's like, but do you really want to try to keep two kittens from running off? You know, two cats from running off? So, I don't really think he's into that. But we'll see how, how it all goes. And last night, Don put the air conditioner in, which was really nice. It made it so that the, uh, the night was really comfortable to sleep, and... Surprisingly, there were no, no mosquitoes in here, so that was good. Tiger. You gotta stay here in the bedroom all the time during the day, because the windows are open and you'll jump out and run away, won't you? Meow. Yeah. Meow. Yeah, you will, won't you? Meow. Yep, you're saying yes every time. Meow. You're saying I'm a smart-ass kitty and I'll do whatever I want. Right, Tiger? Right? Right? Yep. Right now while the door is closed and you can see what I'm going to be talking about, I wanted to show you something funny. I've got all kinds of posters up in here. Zach from Final Fantasy. Villa Vallo from him. Green Day. The Hangover Guys. Some more Villa Vallo. Marilyn Manson. The Office. Icon for Hire. Sherlock. Sweeney Todd, and then, in the midst of it all, there's Tinkerbell. What the hell? <laughs> but that's Lexi's, and it's been here for a long time. And then we've got Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland, Orgy, signed. That icon for hire was signed, too. And then Minions. I love Minions. Oh, and this is my hymn clock. It doesn't work anymore. It hasn't worked for years, but I still have it up. My DeLorean. And every time I see that, I think about Danny Duncan from Way of the Kings. Here's where some of the stuffed animals ended up. My art supplies. These are the Prismacolor markers and pencils. and TV we never watch anymore. Tiger. And again, Tinkerbell. If you were ever curious what I looked like when I was a kid, this is me. And the story behind the bruises on my legs are that I tried to crawl up into the dresser drawer and lay in it like a bed, and the dresser fell on me. So my legs got my leg got all bruised up. And the funny thing about me is that I have an incredibly vivid memory. So I actually remember that happening and I was what, two? One and a half, two. I remember being in diapers. People don't remember that stuff. So, I have a crazy vivid memory. Most people don't even remember being young kids, but I sure do. Are you dirty, Tug? Are you all dirty? You sure like to be outside, even though it's been sprinkling all day. What are you up to? Dirty. I still want to ride my bike, but it's still sprinkling, and that's not fun. I've just been watching the hummingbirds. I see I'm going to have to refill that feeder soon. But this is one of those lonely days without Don. Hopefully he'll be like yesterday when he got home at about 6. And I won't have to be without him too long. I know I'm real sappy, but I love him. And that's how it is. So I just spent the last two or three hours 
debachelorizing a part of the kitchen. And by that I mean getting rid of all the dirtiness and the cobwebs and stuff. Don's really good at cleaning. He keeps everything clean and he does a really good job, but he says he hates to dust. So I moved in here with him on February 3rd and I'm still finding cobwebs. So, geez. But I'm sure you've seen this area in the vlogs and what a big mess it was. But I cleaned the microwave all up really good. I cleaned these shelves up. I put stuff stuff up here that looks nice. Kind of a theme, like a Native American horse desert type theme. Got a couple more horses down here. I got some southwestern stuff over here. And then I, I took my desk, which was sitting here. And I took all the screws out of it and put it away in the shed, took it all apart. So now we have more room in the kitchen. So he has no idea I did this. I hope he likes it. And the next thing is going to be having, having to clean off the table, because that's just ridiculous. There's way too much junk on there. All that needs to be put away and it all needs to be wiped down. And then after that, it's going to have to be the dishes. But luckily there aren't too many of them. So that's how it's been going so far. I decided on my last day off for a while to keep myself busy and do something useful. So I feel pretty good about that. There, I think that might be just a little bit better. I even got under the table, pulled the table out, cleaned it all on, out from under there. He had some stuff laying under there, I put it away. Everything's all clean. This desk is not clean, but one day at a time, you know. Hey Tug, do you want a hot dog? You want that? There you go. I decided to make the leftover hot dogs for a late lunch because I was getting really hungry. There were three of them. But that was too much. I got too full, so Tug gets a treat. Do you like that hot dog? Do ya? You like your hot dog? <laughs> you ate the bun first. <laughs> you better lick up that mustard. Keep going, clean up the mess. Don't leave that there. <laughs> clean that up. You don't like mustard, do ya? So I did it wrong. I got baking soda instead of baking powder. So here we are again at Tom's yeah. to get the right thing. Duh. I don't know what I'm doing. Durr. What are you, snow. What are you doing? <laughs> Pretending after a horrible day at work. Yeah? Yeah. Apparently, I thought nobody needs gas in their house. Yeah. Yeah, we're off cutting gas lines. Oh, I know. But what in the hell is the county doing? <laughs> Taking out a two foot of a roadside, leaving somebody's gas line that runs their house like that deep underground. I don't know. Retards. Yeah. So, take two on this. Now we'll go home and try to make the beer battered fish. Now that, that I got the right crap. Well, it's time for dinner again. Don made the beer battered fish and it looks really good and I can't wait to eat it. Do you think yeah. it's going to be good? I hope so. Yeah? I've never heard no complaints out of anybody about beer batter, about my beer batter. Yeah. Actually, Lexi prefers me to make the, make the fish. Yeah. Out of a lot of people. She says I make the best beer batter around. No. I use real beer. Well, I'm in for a real treat then, huh? Yeah, she, she actually prefers me to make it than anybody else. Yeah, it looks really good. So, we're going to go ahead and say goodnight, because we're going to eat this, and then we both work tomorrow, so we'll have to go to bed at some kind of a decent hour. So we hope that you share, like, subscribe, and that you're having a good day. Good night, everybody. Have fun. Enjoy your fish. You don't have it. They don't have any fish. <laughs> well, then they can wish. Yeah, they wish they had fish. <laughs> well, put it this way. I'll eat it for them. Yep. And if they don't like it, then I guess they can suffer. Yeah. Right along with everybody else. Yeah. So, good morning. Yeah. Bye.